Well, hello there everyone, David your friendly Harry Scotsman here yet again with another wee review. Now, I was in all day yesterday and I found something which I've been getting out of Tesco's for my dad. Um, it's basically a microwave meal, it's by Fraser's Heat and Eat. Lorn sausage, beans and mash. A hearty dish of beef lorn sausage with baked beans and mashed Scottish potatoes. That is what the tub looks like. Well, the package anyway. That's what it looks like in there. You can just about see the sausage up the top. Beans and a swirly of the potato there. Now, it's ideal for my dad. It's nice and simple. It takes about four or five minutes in the microwave. Just simple. Whereas instead of having to boil up potatoes, mash them, cream them, open a tin of beans, pour about a third of it in, cook up a bit of Lauren sausage, put it all together, you're going to be talking 20 minutes. Whereas this, four and a half minutes. And I've got my wrong specs on. There's a surprise. That's better. Right, four and a half minutes. Well, probably four and a quarter minutes if you go with the timings on the video, on the microwaves. Or you can stick it in the oven for 25 minutes at gas four. Uh, 180 or 160 centigrade. What's in it? Potato with white pepper and salt. Haricot beans. Bit of tinned beans, baked beans. Uh, da, da, da. Cooked lawn sausage. And what's in that? Which you. If you read. If you actually read what's in it, you wouldn't want to eat it. So, it's got a GB thingy on it. I'll let you see. That's cooking instructions. I think that's the... Uh, what's in it? Uh, blurb up there. I don't know if I'm covering it or not. No, I'm not. There you go. And some other stuff down there. Now that... Is what it looks like on the plate. I'll be back in a few minutes or next to no time on this and we'll see what it's actually like. I also have brown sauce. So I'll be back in a wee sec. See you in a bit. Back again. Now Smells like beans and potatoes. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Right. Let's have a wee taste, shall we? Now. Top of the potato has kind of gone Kind of funny there, it's like it's got a wee skin on it. Beans kind of look like that as well. But some of them have actually exploded. So let's give this potato a wee taste first. Smells like potato. Tastes like slightly watery potato. Let's have a wee taste of the beans. Smell kind of beanie.
They're actually not, not too bad beans. Let's get a wee bit of this Lorne sausage out. Looks like Lorne sausage with bean juice on it. Smells like Lorne sausage with bean juice on it. It's alright, yeah. Let's get a wee bit of it all together. That's hot. Mmm. As I say, it's hot. I bet you're all saying, because it's just at the microwave, you numpty. That's actually... I'll tell you something. In Tesco's, uh, it's £2.25 for this. In Aldi, it's £1.49. It's actually not bad. There's not a lot there. I mean, what is it? 340 grams. We get a wee bit of brown sauce on it. Get a sugar up. You need a good dot of brown sauce on stuff like this, I find. Like that. And then give it a good mix. There's quite a lot of potato there compared to everything else, but. I've chopped up the sausage in it. Now in Scotland we don't just have round sausages, you know, link sausages. We have what is called square sausage. Now it's not exactly square, it's more rectangle, but it's called square sausage or lorn sausage. Uh, I think it's lovely, it's one of the better sausages, type sausage. Um, Link sausage, you know, the ordinary banger type ones, are good. You get lots of different types. In Scotland, as I say, we also get a square sausage, which doesn't have the, the casing on it. Um, and it comes in block or in slice. And it's really, really good. If you fry it in a pan, not deep fry it, might be good, battered. Never tried that. Hmm, maybe. Um, it fits on a roll just nicely. Bit of brown sauce on it. If you prefer tomato sauce, have that as well. If you're like me, you have two rolls, one with brown and one with tomato. Um, so, let's give this a go with the brown sauce on it. Get a wee blow just to cool it down a bit. Now that, that really works. On its own, it's maybe a wee bit bland. It's nice, but it's just that wee bit of bland. The brown sauce really does lift it. Sorry, a bird just climbed through the hedge there. Just caught my eye, at the, just out the corner of my eye. For under £1.50, this is warming, it's quite tasty, definitely fills a gap, and if you're coming in at night, now this one's not in the freezer, this was in the chiller, I don't know if you can actually freeze these or not, can you freeze it? 
Storage. Keep refrigerated below 5 degrees. Once opened, keep refrigerated and used within 24 hours. And by the date shown. Freezing. Suitable for freezing. Freeze by date marked. Use within a month. Defrost thoroughly in the fridge before use. And use within 24 hours. Never defrost in a warm room. Do not refreeze once defrosted. And the date is the 18th. Today is actually the 16th. I'll let you see the wee traffic lights on there. And then there's blurb on it for there. That's what it says up there. Bye bye Fraser's. It's actually not bad. As you come in at night, you just want something quick and easy. It's, it's perfect. That brown sauce definitely does help it though. Just lifts it that wee bit. Yeah. So for 76 pence less, got you all day. It's well worth it. As long as you've got an Aldi near you. But here in Scotland, they're everywhere. It's like in Canada with Tim Hortons. Turn a corner, you'll see another Aldi. Canada, turn a corner, you'll see another Tim Hortons. So, I'm going to toddle off. I'm going to go and finish this. Um... If you haven't already subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. Hit the bell, notify you when I'm doing these. I try to do three a week. Um, if you like what I do, please leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as well. If there's any other things like this you want to see me have a go at, leave it down below and I'll have a try. So, take care of yourselves everyone. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And see ya.